like everything is working. Greetings, one and all. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, those that are neither and those that are in between. I am the Life Cat, also known as the Sarcasm Detector, and I am a cat, a VTuber, and a variety streamer. Today, I am continuing my Surviving Mars playthrough. And uh, what you're looking at here behind me is my colony. It was initially intended to be a no humans colony. As in, it is all going to be automated and has a population of androids, of bio robots, synthetics. Unfortunately, uh, Oh, that didn't work out so well, did it? Last uh, last stream, we actually had a rocket full of human. I'm sorry, I'm getting. I'm really upset about this. Human refugees from Earth come over to our colony here on Mars, and now we have humans, humans, living humans in our colony. I know it's t absolutely terrible. It's terrible. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I don't know how we're going to pull this back, but we're going to have to figure a way. So for those of you who don't know me, I like to do chill calm content. I like to think of my stream as a nice laid back place on the internet. There might be mayhem and shenanigans going on on screen, but I'll be my usual calm self. We're gonna not spend too much time on the preamble and dive right into this. And we're gonna see. So we, we are actually in, in a bit of a pickle here, uh, apart from having the, the humans on in on on bars. It's fine, you know what? It's it's fine. We can accept the humans. I mean, we have enough food for them, and we have, I guess, we have enough space for them. The issue is we have a renegade problem among the among the androids. There are renegade androids that keep stealing food and stuff. Which, you know what? I don't, I don't really mind. Until we have, like, better training. And these guys keep surviving because they keep offing themselves. The bio-robots keep suiciding. It's, uh terrible living here on Mars. Absolutely terrible. Look at this, it's like super cramped. Even, even cube look. And the buildings are like I'm a terrible landlord. Look at this. All their living spaces is absolutely terrible. You know what I'm going to do here? We're gonna stop, uh, yeah, because look how much these guys consume to build each one. So we're gonna stop that for the moment. Is this stopped? This one is stopped. Also, that needs a lot of metal. Uh, the reason is, look at our atmosphere. Uh, these are the guys that make the atmosphere. They burn waste rock. And we are gaining 1.2 per day per soul. And we are losing it a little bit as well until we get the magnetic fields up, magnetic shields. Uh, it's fine, we're just starting out here. We also... had a water dry up on us here. So we're gonna get rid of this. going out to this guy here okay I'm not sure if we're gonna need water again further down here I 
I think trimming it down to this much should be fine. We, we don't even, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna loop this dome in here somewhere. Not right now though. Okay, so this guy, uh, let me take off the demolish tool so I don't accidentally blow my thing up here. Uh, this is almost done. This will help out once it is complete to use the crime and punishment mod. Back into useful members of society. I I have I think I've seen that mod. I don't know if I have it installed. I do not believe I do. It's fine that the, I, the, the renegades are fine. I'm not too fussed about it. I think it adds a little bit of... Uh, it, it's not like gonna tear down my colony and whatnot. The guys are just suiciding left, right, and center anyways. It's... it's... It's fine. I'll have to, I think, uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is push this up ahead, Project Morpheus, and this will just reprogram everyone in the colony. I'm, I'm pretty sure it removes, um, it removes statuses like Renegade or something like that. And I intend to put a couple of uh, sanatoriums as well. Just to, just to keep things safe and like the, the breakdown stuff. I'm going to have to go down the social tree a bit. There's a lot of stuff I haven't completed. This is not like what I'm doing the, the previous... Um, playthrough on Japan where like I was like halfway done with the research before I even landed any kind of colonist on Mars. Japan is great for, you know, super rapid advancement and research. Do I have enough to do an outsourcing? No. This stuff is still getting hooked up. Wow. Yeah, I do want that to be built because this is like really dense uh, living quarters here. And for here, I do want to put a network node in as well. Which do I have? It's like the next thing. Infirmary, improved service comfort, fighting relaxation. Okay, so this is um, oh, uh, some comfort stuff for the, the colonists as well that needs to be done. Probably to stop them or hopefully to stop them from suiciding so much. Quite a bit needs to be done. So we lost this water source here as well. But luckily I had planned ahead and expanded into here. Which now we're gonna have to do some doubling up because we lost that other source. These are deep ones, like 100,000 water, which is fine. It's gonna overlap dust on both of them, but I think this is fine. Those two built. We're not in trouble with our water. We're like, stored water is like 6,000. I could possibly expand to research the super big tanks. I think the medium tanks here I have quite a bit is fine. I, I do need to expand my oxygen backup, which I don't have. So that is something that's probably going to have to be done here. Just we need to wait for this guy to get connected and we'll do some oxygen backup solution over here on this end. All right, I think that's all the preparations I need to do. I have these printing people, are they? For some reason. They are not, they're all zeroed out. Okay. 
Interesting. I remember having them set to construct before we left. Oh, this needs repair. What do you need to repair? Concrete. We're going to have to have a shuttle hub over there. That is what we need. This guy's built, right? That's three out of six heavy load. <laughs> it's my polymer and I have enough. Okay. So I'm going to max out the number of shuttles on this guy, on this shuttle hub here, which is the newest one. We have one over here, this new one, and the original over here. Uh, what the shuttles do is move stuff between depots. Oh, any kind of depot, whether it's like a specific, these big automated one, universals. The drones do it too, but the, the shuttles do it faster and over longer distances. So they'll like, you'll pick up cement from here, somewhere down here and drop it over here or whatever it is required. Um, I'm building another one over here in this general location to cover like stuff in this area so these guys can concentrate. Yeah, I think, I think so. This is going to be a forest eventually. It's going to be a big, big forest. I've already started with the vaporators here. And we're going to fill this little area with them and more probably outwards where these cement things are eventually when this cement runs out we're going to replace these with lakes and that's why we have these holes here these are where cement ex excavators were before right here's another one a couple here here these are all going to be lakes every single one of them i like using the little holes in the ground left by the house guys Oh, it just seems turning a quarry into a lake is makes sense in the real world, kind of, in a way. But in any event, we're going to need a lot of water for that. These water are not going to last. But these are finite resources. The vapor farms are going to are, are a bit long term, and I think they their quality improves. Uh, let me see here. Uh, boost to production of wind turbines and oxygen production of moxies. Okay, no, and atmosphere is for moxie. This one here. Moisture vaporator. So we need to expand our water. So we're going to have to start hitting Mars with some comments to increase the water. As we increase the water level of Mars, these guys work better. When these guys work better, we have more water, which fills up the lakes, filling up the lakes, raises the water level. Yeah, it's going to be a chain. And we're also going to put like a whole bunch of these forestation plants. And like a fairly higher density here, uh, probably a higher density than this, actually. We'll see how it works out. Um, I have like two overlaps instead of, yeah, okay. And we'll end up with like a really thick forest here. It'll be hard to see the, like, you'll still see the, like, the tubing, the piping, and the circular electricity, but it'll be, it'll be in a forest. It'll, it'll be kind of cute. You'll see, guys, when we get there. If we survive, that's the other thing. If the colony survives, I think it will. I don't think this colony is going to fail. It's going to have a lot of issues, but I don't think it's going to fail. We, we have people dying left, right, and center also. A colonist has died. And uh, yeah. So you're going to hear that a lot. The colonist has died. Sick oh, we're going to hear that too. Did I not tell it to explode, please? Okay, so it's just a rush for this. 
Yeah, I was fighting Resources for machine parts with this guy here, has died. which are like 50 each, and oh, oh, quite a bit of metal as well. So our cement situation is pretty bad. Are these guys amplified? Our power switch is bad. It's minus 61. We're in the middle of the day. Okay, this has been built. Almost. Okay, power has improved back up to 82. So that's the solar kicking in. Prop failure reported. And that's not that's not a the terrible thing. That just means that uh, they made cured potatoes, which don't count as food. Right. Yeah, these guys just started on this, so. A colonist has died. Oh, there we go. This is going good. We won't be upgrading this another time anytime soon. Looks like things have been repaired. Yeah, stuff is being repaired. This is up and live. And this needs just a little bit of cement. These guys are up and running. How is my water? So it won't produce any more water than I need. That's why it's zeroed out. A colonist has died. So we have a nice surplus of water currently going. I don't even have to amplify the second thing. Uh, we should have uh, upgrades for these available. That's some. Um, let me check. There it is, that's a cheap one. Yeah. What about our rockets? Where are we lost a rocket? That that's I, I remember that. Let's then bring this back. So we're gonna have to either buy a new rocket or build one. So I have to do that. We're gonna have to buy it probably. Our green number is going up very slowly. This is just the lichen or lichen, whatever you want to call it. We don't even have grass yet, but it's just a little bit of uh, a colonist has died of algae or something like that. Whatever that, whatever lichen is, moss of some kind. I don't know, this is going to have to be flattened. This whole area, because I have plants. A colonist has died. We need to get those numbers up, boys. And, and this is a, it is a, a very much a case of hurry up and wait for things to get done. Uh, though, like I want more stuff to has died. to plan ahead for. We are going to be upgrading this dome. Filling it up. We have to make dumping grounds for this guy as well around here. We already have a few around it, but it's gonna need more. <laughs> Look at this guy. And we eventually do need to get these guys up and running. Having two more holes will help out. The colonist has died. We are going to have to de-densify these guys. So the, the building stuff here, the both the machine parts factory and the electronics factory, both of which are not running. Okay, you know what? 
That's fine. We're gonna put some service stuff spaces for these guys. And we will build the factories over here, which is perfect. That just got completed. Maybe we can increase the comfort died. for these guys. So as we look here, average sanity is kind of... What about here? The sanity here is absolutely trashed. Okay. Drinking and relaxation is what they're missing for comfort. Drinking and relaxation. Casino, which has, it doesn't have drinking. This has drinking. Cafe Mars. Six workers. Metal and metal's going up now. And reduce the amount of open jobs that and we'll put maybe let it actually be filled by workers in it. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. What about this guy? Shopping and dining. This does have dining on it. Social relaxation, relaxation, social. This is an aquarium and a toy store. Gaming, shopping, I wonder. How big is this? Okay, so we can actually put a few things in here. I'll put the aquarium in. This uses polymer and electricity. and concrete. Put in the toy store. And now we have actually have room for something. That's uh, it's actually paused, okay. And that would be the supercomputer. And it covers both domes, oh hell yeah. Perfect. Okay, which means that over here we're gonna have to start planting um, the factories again. Get this uh, upgraded. And I'll send you here. Or not, we'll land you here. And then pause. At least that's uh, that's something a little small scale building. It shouldn't affect the this guy too much. No, this one's done. Then look at that. Okay. A colonist has died. He couldn't take it anymore. This is what. Do we have the mats for it? We are low on polymer, unfortunately. Now we are low on polymer. And I want to put it nearer to here on this side. That will cover this area as well, but it'll the density here it might help it out. A colonist has died. So yeah, let's put this over here. That should be under laser protection, it is. We'll give it an extra laser. Like that. 
cool. All right, that'll that'll cover this area and increase coverage of this area. I take the stress off of these three. Where are we on this guy? All right. Rocket, is it full? Yeah, it fills up quick now. Okay. A colonist has died. Here we go. Uh, let's see, upgrade manufacturing. We don't have any manufacturing in this area any longer. Research and learning. We do have the university. But decreases by 10% the evaluation point for all training building, increases 10% the research point for all research building. Okay, uh, and farming. We do have all farms in the ran and ranches. Okay, we have a lot of farms here, so that will definitely help out. We need actual people to be in here. So I'll increase the, the priority for this guy. There are two universities, so I will also give the other upgrade. Again, we no longer have any manufacturing here. The, except for the poly auto save, which is not running. We'll leave, we'll leave the polymer up. I think we have an issue of out or 25 in this case for this area. this population is dropping pretty fast oh yeah what about these four these guys are not making any Seven, 76 out of 174 and this is a zero out of 54 is up and running so my metal production is almost uh, a hundred and this one is like almost that should be higher than that okay it should be much higher than that it'll, it'll next day to next soul will it'll update but we are set in this regards here We can possibly open these guys up now. Yeah, they were nearly done anyway. This one, I think we can turn this one on as well. So we'll leave it open. It's service bots. I'll put service bots in the cinema as well. Eight renegades in the stone. Okay, so this should be a nice buff to the immediate area. Actually, I can't use the upgrade on it. Uh, are we 47? 
botanists and engineers. We have enough for an outsource. That should speed some things up. Let's bring the old kit back. Some prefabs, which I can't buy. Okay. So I may, literally, I'm going to have to build them myself. How much for a rocket? Three million, three billion. God damn it. Close. Yeah, I wanted to do that. And yes, the renegades are still stealing stuff away from me. That the is. Colonist has died. Wah. All right. Research complete. I wanted to put the network node in here. Let's slow this down a bit. Oh, and I just noticed we are uh, a little bit over the uh, half hour mark. So we're going to take a very quick break, guys. Just a couple of minutes and we'll be right back. Going to split this up. For those of you watching on YouTube, there should be a link to part two of uh, this particular stream right over there on the left side of your screen. Stick around. We'll be right back.